So we made it to Williamstown. This is where the Ark Encounters. So this is, uh, I don't know, a little south of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is Williamstown, Kentucky. We're gonna go check out a replica of Noah's Ark. Looks like they have some zip line. And there's the Ark we're coming up on. They take you over in an air conditioned bus because it's probably about a half a mile from the parking lot over to the encounter. So you get off the bus and you have to come through the rainbow, which uh, of course that is in Genesis, as you see right here. God's reminder that he will not flood the earth again. Uh, that's the covenant, the rainbow. Okay, so we're getting a little closer now and starting to be able to see just how big this ark really was. Okay, now we're on the first level. Talking about the change of times, this is down in the keel of the ark. And this would have been built by somebody that was 600 years old. Looking up from the bottom. So here's a smaller replica. Kind of see just how well everything was placed out. strategic build. Okay, so we just came out from the first floor where we were looking at where all the animals were. So I don't want to show you too much more of what this tour will show you when you come see the Ark, but it's very cool that once you get to the second floor, it starts showing you the Bible itself as far as it starts telling you the history from the beginning of the Bible and then throughout. Something interesting here is to think about how they had their feeding system, but they had these catwalks that were going over to troughs that went down into the cages to feed the animals. And then on the small ones, on all those small cages, if you noticed earlier in the video, they had uh, almost like you'd, like you'd see in like a hamster cage, like a a water and food bottle. And here's a quick explanation of what I was trying to say earlier. I should pause this and read. So check this out. This is inside the theory of how they got water and waste through the ark. You have all those cisterns filling up from rainwater. And he had this moon pool concept in the center of the boat. So all these pipes made out of bamboo or possibly copper would drain all the waste from the animals to the center area. You got like an elephant or a horse down there, like a treadmill that would carry that would power the conveyor belt. Now as water from the ocean is coming from the bottom of the boat in and out. It would carry all of the waste away. You got somebody in the bottom left corner where all the uh, feces is coming down and they're shoveling it in. You got all the urine that's running down. All runs into that. Now as it's getting ran into that, then you have this moon pool concept where you've got a vent system. And so as the water goes up, as the boat comes down and the water goes up, it would shove air down into the vent tubes to bring fresh air throughout the ship. And when the water comes down, as the boat goes up, water would be, or uh, air would be sucked in. Genius. Again, getting an idea just how massive this ark would have been, how much manpower they would have had to put into making this all by hand. Now Noah, 500 years old, he's got his three sons helping him, so his family is building it. And then a few of the people that they subcontracted out 
who really didn't believe in them, but they were helping as they're getting paid, I'm assuming. And it would take them 75 years to do this. So just came out of the ark, uh, that straight back here behind me, as you can see that other structure, that's a restaurant. And there's also a zoo back there. So it's six o'clock, so they're shutting it down. See the ark itself out here. That's just been an amazing structure to walk through. Just to think that Noah and his family would have built this with the help of others, you know, all those years ago. And something this size was out there floating around in the world to re, uh, repopulate the earth. Now, if you don't believe in God, then if you walk through here and you see this and you see uh, some of the information, you might even change your mind. As you start in the bottom, it shows where the animals were. You work your way up through the top and it starts telling you more of the, the, uh, the history. And as you get to the, as the top, it starts giving you information based out of um, the comparison of like millions of years that scientists say versus the thousands of years biblically and how that works and how the sediment uh in rocks and all that how there's there's a theories of biblical and then there's the theories of scientists and you can look at the you can look at those differences they break all that down so anyway a lot to see there like i said there's also a zoo in the back and a restaurant and some other stuff here so if you bring your kids and there's some zip lining uh there's just a lot to see we saw quite a bit uh, but we were here for several hours of one day. You can buy multiple day tickets. Uh, and if you're a veteran, they give you another 20% off. First responders, sorry about that. Fire, EMS, police, uh, you know, they don't, they don't do it for them. But hey, at least they do it for the veterans. Appreciate that. All right, thanks for watching. We're gonna head to Tennessee and uh, catch your next video.